how to select a range of dates in a Flutter app using the date range picker. Firstly, let's define a daytime range object, whereas you define the start of the range and also the end of the range. Next, we access this date range. So we access the start and end. And we also want to display it inside of the UI. Therefore, I create a row with two buttons. Inside of one button, we display then the start daytime. So we display the year, months and day. And inside the other elevated button, we display then the end of the daytime range. And now if we press on one of these buttons, we call a new method pick date range. And inside of this method, we call the method show date range picker, whereas you need to define the initial date range that is displayed initially inside of your date range picker. Also, we have to define the minimum date that we can select and the maximum date that we can select within the date range picker. With this, if we click on one of the buttons, then the initial date range is selected. We could choose a different date range. And now if we click on the save or cancel button, then this value will be returned inside of this nullable daytime range field. Whereas if we click on the cancel button, a null value is returned. And if we click on the save button, then this daytime range that we have selected is returned. Let's also check if we have pressed on the cancel button. And if we have pressed on it, then this value is null and we return this function. Otherwise, if we have pressed on the save button, then we want to put this new date range inside of the date range within our state. So we put it inside of this field. Let's also try it out by selecting a new date range and then we click on save. And you see this new date range is displayed inside of our buttons. Next, you can access from a date range the difference and this difference we want to display inside of another text widget. And as you can see, the difference between these two dates are three days. And lastly, let's fix the date display because right now this number is only displayed with one digit if it is under 10. And if you want to change it, then you can use the date format package. And with this, you can then format your start date and also your end date. As a result, all the day numbers and months numbers are displayed with two digits. Mm -hmm.